Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, Master Clip Effects. Anytime that you ha are using a master clip and you're cutting it up into small pieces and you're going back and color correcting each one of those, let me tell you, that's a lot of work, especially if that color correction or that effect or change needs to be changed. Um, if you use master clip effects, you change it in one place and it ripples through every single other version of that file. Let's go have a look. All right, so here we are. Um, I've got this clip here and it's cut into several different clips. It's actually a longer clip, so if I right click and reveal this in the project, there it is right there. When I double click on it, it's a much longer clip, but I'm using it in several places. And I want to give this a certain treatment, but I don't want to do this to three clips, or if there were 300 uh, clips that I took from this, that's a heck of a lot of work. So the first thing you need to do is to be able to get to the effects controls and the left hand side. This is the normal effects controls that you would see per clip and on the left is the master clip effects. Now you can get to that by double clicking down in here or if you're in the timeline if you press the F key for match frame it loads it into the source monitor and from there you can get to the effects. Now the, the effect that I have I created in Adobe Speed Grade and it's just a cinema look and I can actually just drag it right into here and you'll see it's instantly updated there and there and there and if I go back to my effects controls over to the master clip effects there it is turn it off turn it on holy smokes that's pretty powerful now your first question is can I turn it off per clip right now you can't do that um, if you turn it off in one clip it turns off on all the clips future versions might uh, allow you to, to change that but right now we can't so here's the cool thing let's say that you know we've got that effect and we actually want all of these other clips to have that same effect what's the easiest way to do that well I think the easiest way to do that is to change the user interface and move some panels around just to make it easier to drag and drop these effects. Let me show you what I mean. I'll take my effects controls and I'm dragging from the top over here to the right hand side in between. This way, when I hit the F key for match frame, I now have my source video and my effects controls. Down here I need to separate the project bin from the effects. So I'll do the same thing. I'll go to my uh, effects and drag that to the right. And now I have the effects on the right hand side. And if I go over to the left, there's all my clips. So if you want to save a preset, right click and save the preset as I've done already. Here it is. And I'll select all of the video clips. I'm holding down the control key on um, that's actually the sequence. I'm holding down the control key on uh, Windows. It's the command key on Mac. And I select uh, all of those clips. So those are the clips. Now I drag from my effects presets over to here. Every single one of those has now changed. Now he's actually uh, got it on there twice. So I should probably remove that effect from here. So let me delete that. Try that again. I'll select all the clips that I want, not the sequence. I'll select all the clip. I'll select all the clips I want by holding down the control key on Windows, Command on Mac. Now that they're all selected, when I drag this preset that I've saved, it's now changed each one of these. So when I open them up, there's the same Lumetri effect on every single one of these clips. An instant update means that they all change and they all update right away. So master clip effects, powerful, powerful way to work. Um, and anything in the effects controls, I just happened to show you one preset uh, that I created from speed grade, but any kind of color correction, stylized effect, noise, grain, anything that you want to drop on every single version of that clip, you've got it. Master clip effects. Damn. All right. 
Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe link to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.